Osgrid looks after more than 250,000 streetlights on behalf of 41 councils throughout our network area. This includes the globes, the casing and the actual poles themselves, which are usually made of wood or steel. Our street lighting manager, Phil McKee, recently invited us to take a look at a new machine we're trialling to test steel poles for rust or damage below ground level. We're in Double Bay today and uh, we're trialling a new technology. It's a non-destructive method of testing steel poles and it's, it's particularly helpful when uh, councils have tiled up uh, right to the base of the, of the poles. The main advantage of this new technology is we don't have to dig up uh, the footpaths and councils will be very pleased about this. Traditionally, inspections involve digging about 200 mils below ground level and visually checking each pole. Phil says this machine means we can inspect a pole in about five minutes using lasers and pressure. One laser beam is set at the ground level, the, the other laser beam is set up about a metre and a half uh, from the ground level. A force is exerted on the pole, the pole is released and the two laser beams uh, are then sent into, into a computer and we can see a graph of the, of the two laser beams and from that signature waveform uh, we can tell if the pole is usable.